I could very well have taken the bus. Will you please not insult me by waiting? I'm sure we can find another way to insult you while we wait. No doubt. I beg your pardon. Victor. I am perfectly capable of walking without assistance. I probably know the way a good deal better than you. I, don't you people have anything better to do than... Whatever happened to the good old days when you couldn't get three words out of them? Devlin can throw as many medical arguments as he wants in my face. I am not giving up. No one is asking you to give up, Joe. Dr. Devlin is just asking you to prepare you know, for what? I don't need to prepare for anything. Frank is going to pull through this, Karen. Why doesn't anyone see that? Excuse me. Excuse me? Is this a conversation any doctor can join in on? As long as you're not Kevorkian. And... Okay, Joe, you know, that's not fair. I'm not asking you to give up fighting. I'm just no, asking you, you might to as look well at the reality be. of... All right, so obviously the reality is that Frank's not doing very well. Dr. Devlin says his chances no, aren't you good. you don't think his chances... I am not the enemy here, okay? I'm just trying to help you in whatever way I can. It's a horrible place to be in, I know. Everything gets mixed up. There's too much sadness to handle. There's too much anger. Does it look like I'm on your couch? Stay out of this. Joe. Joe. You can say whatever you want to me. Take whatever tone you like. I don't mind. I understand better than anyone what you're going through. You know I'm not one of your case histories. No, you're not. You're a friend. And so is Frank. I lost my brother. And there isn't a day that goes by that I don't wish things were different. Of course, I'm not saying we'll lose Frank. You know, Everyone I, is praying that we don't. I don't need your sympathy. Now, if you want to help, don't become another one of those vultures that are flying over my brother's head, waiting to bury him before his time. Joseph. What others say is inevitable may never come. But Frank must receive his last rites if God sees fit to take him. Increase the dosage 32%. 32%? That's extreme given the central cases. I don't need an opinion from a second-rate third-year med student. Now inject a rat or I'll find someone who will. Well, maybe I can help out there. Which arm do you want it in, Devlin? I thought I'd scraped you off my shoe. Did I catch you at a bad moment? Doesn't surprise me, though, because uh, stealing research is what you do best, not come up with it. You want me to call security? No. I'm on way out. Going to the hospital board, just want to let you know. Still fighting for the Lambert lost cause. Well, she's never going to be reinstated here. You might as well get used to visiting her in prison. Well, Eve's not going to jail. She may have lost her job for now, but I don't think you're going to be so lucky. <laughs> okay. I'll bite. Well, I'm on my way to inform the board of the charges we intend to file. Lambert versus Devlin General Hospital, sexual harassment. <laughs> you think you're going to sue me? Well, it's more of a straitjacket. And unless you're Harry Houdini, you're not getting out of this one. Amazing author, wouldn't you say? Highly imaginative. <laughs> well, hello, girls. Hi, Bev. Hi. And I would feel the same way if I was you, the Bev Lambeth character, the woman that every guy wants to know. Oh, well, now, what makes you think that it's about moi? Sexy intern. All guys are tripping. <laughs> sex with? Wait, wait a minute. Let's explain why they're tripping this character, you, mm -hmm. throwing yourself at these guys, and they're just tripping over you. That's what's really happening. <laughs> I'll write you two. It's a piece of fiction. Come on. That's right. It's trash, and I didn't even finish it. What? 
this, this, this happens to be, you know, a, a writer person, whoever, who must have poured their heart into this. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me, um, <clears throat> let me see if I can guess where you stopped here. Oh, there we go. Sam Herwin, a hot-headed, wealthy carpenter lawyer who has a fondness for apples that's outweighed only by his flagrant disregard for the law. I'm no hothead. <laughs> we ought to get some, uh, royalties here from this, uh, who is this? Uma? O Uma? Who, who wrote this? No, obviously. Onama, non, the accents on the O, 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 O. Don't you know anything? Wait, Onoma. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Onoma is the Greek word for name. How do you know that? Because I was the eighth grade whiz whiz champion, okay? Um, Onoma, none. So actually, the N U N N is N O N E. Onoma, none. It's the smart way for the writer to say no name. Well. Whoever wrote this thing did their homework because uh, they know a lot about what's going on around the hospital here. I know, I know. Tell me about it. Bennett Devlin's character, Dr. Melvin, it's right on the nose. The guy's got a heart like a charcoal briquette. I think it's one of these gossipy little nurses around here like Amy. No, 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 no. You know who I think wrote it? Here. I think that it was Dr. Burgess. Why would you think it was her? Because you always got to be, be careful for the quiet ones, you know? They're the worst. She knows everything about this hospital. If she was going to write a book, it would be this one. No, 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 no. She is boring, and she's just mild-mannered. You know, whoever, whoever wrote this book is filled with wild passions. Ah, oh, well, enough about this book here. Do you want to know what happened with the board? That depends. Is it good news? Well... Simple. We got their attention. They're going to start an internal investigation into the sexual harassment charges. Oh, does Bennett know about it yet? Know about what? The suit. Does You're it... suing? This is good. This is an excellent plan. You go for the juggler. Smart move there. <laughs> yeah, well, I told him. Brad, we had a heart attack. Oh, no, 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 no. Now, that would actually imply that he has a heart. Don't you worry, Frank. We're right here. Everything's going to be fine. We're all waiting for you, Frank. How is he? He's hanging in there. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello, Father. Let's go outside. Why is the priest in there? He's here for Mary as much as for Frank. Well, Frank doesn't need a priest. I believe that. But my father said... I wanted to do more in the OR. Jake, there was nothing more you could do. Matt and my father told me what an inspired job you did. I mean, the surgical team couldn't be any less than perfect. You would have died on that table. What happened to the statutory rape charges? Scott bailed me out. But the charges are going to stick unless Lark tells the truth. No one has found her? No, not yet. The cops are looking for her right now. Better the cops find her than me. I'd rip her heart out the first chance I got. to give you a call. Oh, you mean while you still have an office? <sighs> Truce, okay? Oh, now that you're getting a taste of your own medicine, you pick a good time to start acting like a human being. I just don't understand why we have to keep hurting each other like oh, this. Oh, please. Look, you want a truce, reinstate her. Simple. I can't reverse the board's decision, but I've been making some preliminary calls to different hospitals, and I'm sure that I can get you placed somewhere else. Listen, bucko, I don't want to work at any other hospital. You pick the battleground, and I'm going to fight you. Right here. Well, that's simply not very wise at all. For you. You see, if you think that people needed a strong stomach to watch my little home movie of you, you just wait until they get an earful of every dirty little secret I have on you. You'll be lucky if they let you operate on poodles. 
If you drop this sexual harassment lawsuit, or I'm going to drop you into a hole so deep even your millionaire boyfriend won't be able to get you out of it. You know, you might think about this. Does this really behoove you to go ahead with this? Sexual harassment thing is not what you need right now. You got a wife that wants to just put a stake right through your heart, except for the alimony payments that she's getting. So I don't think the hospital would back you up either. You're the one that needs to rethink this because I will break you. We won't break. But Julie might. Yeah. She's been trying real hard to find something good about you. And I would just hate to be the one to burst her bubble. It's bad enough she's got to read about it in this book. What's the, what book is that? What does that have to do with anything? You know what? Actually, I'm thinking I might um, advise the board to take a look at this. You might want to pick up a copy of it yourself. It's got a... Um, a, well, not too flattering portrayal of you. Back off, Bennett. Or I'm gonna make General Homicide look like my little pony. You're blowing smoke. Ah, you got two choices here. Reinstate her, just pack your bags, and move on. I've given Victor a thorough physical exam, and he's in good shape. We just have one more test to go. Have you seen this? Doctor, I'm in the middle of a conversation. Uh, I think it's all right. We were just about finished anyway. Excuse, have you read this book? I skimmed it. It's all over the hospital. Yes, well, the gift shop downstairs has had to reorder this garbage twice. Well, then you are so lucky that you were able to snag a copy because, you know, I mean, it's all around. Everybody's reading it everywhere. Everybody says, this is trash. I think we should seriously consider litigation against this author. Doctor, doctor, don't you think you're overreacting just a bit? Come on, it really is just a fun. Sure, doctor. I mean, after all, fiction is fiction. No, excuse me. Dr. Melvin is not good fun. You're in the glamour business. You, have you ever met this author? No. No, I haven't had the pleasure, but if I do, I'm going to tell him Excuse us, gentlemen. We need to go see my I... father. Oh, well, Pa! <laughs> this book is libelous. Forget about the book. You've got bigger problems. Now, I've heard from several board members that you're being sued for sexual harassment. And? And the board is taking this seriously. Now, questions are starting to surface about your character. Those are the folks that invited me here. And they can just as easily uninvite you. You know what this is? This is Eve Lambert on a personal vendetta ever since she got tossed off the internship program. And the board doesn't care. This suit is bad PR for the hospital, particularly after the release of this book. The, the book is a pack of lies! I'm saying this as a friend. Your reputation preceded you. And I'm saying this as a friend. You watch your tone. Hey, I just thought you'd like to know which way the wind was blowing on this one. Eve Lambert probably wrote the book. I mean, she comes off like a goddess. Well, what is my support if I sue for libel? And draw more attention to the hospital? Your work here would be over. It's not going to come to that. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but... Uh, the board is looking to relieve you of your duties as head of the research committee. What? Well, this whole Lambert mess happened under your supervision. What? She, she broke into the lab! And you couldn't let her off with a harsh word or two? But now the police are involved. Lawsuits, counter-lawsuits. Taking the lab away from me is a big mistake. The board might have seen it that way, if you had produced some results. Right now, all your project is to them is money down the drain. Excuse me. You know, I like sticking it to Devlin, but I didn't want to say anything while we were in there. Frank's not going to make it, is he? Julie is uh, clinging to the one in a million chance that he'll survive. I don't know how she feels. Well, isn't there anything that anybody can do? The internal damage is severe. His heart can't beat on its own without an isopel drip, and, well, he can't be on that forever. Does Lark know what... Serious condition Frank is in? Maybe. I don't... Why? Do you think she'll come back here? No, no, she'd never come back here. Too many people know her. You know, if they, if they caught her, they'd send her right back to juvenile hall.
God asks that we maintain our faith through all adversity. Thank you for coming, Father. Is there any change? No. But that doesn't mean he won't get better. Frank is fighting, and I'm fighting with him. There are hard realities that come with medicine, come with life. I just wanted you to be prepared. It's giving up, and I won't do it. Shall we begin? <sighs> Francis Xavier Scanlon, through this holy anointing, May the Lord, in his love and mercy, help you through the grace of his Holy Spirit. May the Lord, who frees you from sin, save you and raise you up. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come, thy will, will be, be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread. bread. And, and forgive us our trespasses, as we, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hey, have you read this book, General Homicide? I was going crazy over it. Well, actually, I was one of the first people to read that book. Yeah, but I bet you don't know who wrote it. And who do you think it is? Bennett Devlin. That's ridiculous. Bennett definitely is the villain. He's the bad guy. Nobody writes himself in that bad light and makes it look like that. Oh, no, no, it's not Bennett. No. It's just to throw people off track. Ah. Besides, I think he likes playing the villain. You're so off base, it's pitiful. Because Bennett Devlin would not write General Homicide. He couldn't have written it. I'll tell you who wrote it. Well, how can you be so sure? Because... Excuse me. Aren't you tired of discussing that book? Well, the problem is, is this illiterate here wait, actually... Wait, wait, who are you calling illiterate? She actually thinks that Bennett Devlin wrote General Homicide. Come on. You know, Grace, you may have a point. Victor's ready to go, and I guess that means you and I are, too. Why in the world would you want that little person to think that Bennett Devlin wrote your book? Because I prefer to be anonymous, and I'd like to keep it that way. Huh. Only a matter of time before everybody knows. research from Baldwin's lab. These guys are way ahead of you. Yeah, and on top of that, I just heard from the board. They're threatening to cut my funding unless I come up with results soon. Well, animal testing is slow. If you want to really show them something special, you have to move straight to humans. Well, we... We don't have any data on how the formula affects human subjects. We... I mean, if we failed, the, the, the lawsuits would be unimaginable. Are you kidding? We'd never see a dime. Well, I suggest you stick to spying on your fellow interns. You're a lot better at that than coming up with new ideas. Well, that makes two of us now, doesn't it? I mean, if a patient's gonna die anyway, what's the difference? That autopsy would give me the leg up I need. It's your time when it's your time. I mean, Frank knows that. He respected that. That's why he was never afraid of anything. Living like that can make a person seem invincible. Oh, he seems like a giant to me. You believe Frank can do anything, don't you? I do. Now I'm trying to figure out what Frank would want me to do. I mean, would he want me to keep pulling for him? Or just let him go? and get on with my life. Frank would want you to follow your heart. you 
listen to them. I am not going to give up on you, Frank. It is not your time. It is not your time. This is Charles Gibson. And Lisa McCree. Tomorrow, being a two-income couple doesn't have to mean less sex, more stress. We'll tell you the secret. And Chef Emeril Lagasse with an Easter recipe tomorrow on Good Morning America.